we are projecting what we think Wizards will do. Right. Okay. And I wouldn't... We kind of had a little pre-cast uh, discussion, and I don't know if there's necessarily a time frame of when we're trying to do this, so we can never be wrong with whatever we say here at this point. Right. <laughs> That's, so we're basically Nostradamus, like... <laughs> 2,000 years later, <laughs> he was right! <laughs> I told you! Numerology in the Bible. <laughs> the Bible said it would happen! Uh, all right, so let's go through all these. We'll, we'll go pretty quick. We don't need to do, like, especially some of these. Well, let's talk about the first one. Uh, Ancestral Recall. This one's the one uh, one drop, or one cost uh, for drawing three cards. I mean, Larry, where are you at with this one? They won't. This is a C. This is definitely a C. They're not. It's a C. Yeah. They're not. They're not unbanning this. That's too powerful, even for CEDH, uh, to just tap one and at instant speed, right? Yes, it's at yes. instant speed. So yeah, they're, it they're, is target player. So you could, you could redirect it to a different player, like to yourself, if you got deflecting SWAT. I believe. <laughs> there you go. There we go. Finally got to the card. <laughs> got the, the, the deflecting swat. Oh, that's the one you were looking for. <laughs> no, was that the one you were looking for? Because in my yeah, head, that oh, was what I thought it was. Damn it! Yeah, yeah you're right. That should have been the right card because then you kept it all red. That would have worked actually, mm -hmm. and that's an expensive card. They missed. All right, uh, balance, balance. Where do you where do you feel on this one? I know where I'm at with this one. I think this is a B. I have it as an A. I don't think it's that bad. Like, I really don't think this is, like, a person that's behind that cast this. Yeah, it brings everybody back down a little bit. But everybody's even at that point, you know? There isn't, I don't feel like there's an abuse to this one. And so I think, that, I think this was definitely like a know, Sheldon ban. Like, old, old school, yeah. this wrecked a lot of things because games used to be a lot slower. And if somebody wanted to come out quick, they could. And then balance and just wreck everybody. Yeah. Um... But that's how Commander is with the board wipes, you know? Like Right, right. Two mana board wipes are very good though, right? Do we have a two mana board wipe that wrecks your hand, enchantments, well, artifacts, I mean, lands? That's my, right, but that's Right. This is doing so much. And is. this would definitely become the best wrath out there. For sure. Everything else of this ilk is four to six mana. There's cataclysms like four, and then everything else is at six. So to me, this is a B like I personally think it could be undone, but I don't think Wizards will necessarily do it. Like, it's questionable at best. So I guess I will, I will say that um, before White in the last handful of years has really gotten some tools to bring it back to one of the better colors in Magic at this point. <clears throat> I think before that, Balance, I'm like, definitely an A. I can see what you're saying and what uh, your arguments with that for putting it at a B. And I will accept that. I think that it has enough tools that it doesn't need this uh, white is always behind and we need this thing to bring it so that it's taking all the other colors and everybody else down. So I'm going to still, I have it at an A, but I can see B. So for me, I'll, I, I'll, I'll, I'll concede. Okay. I'll go down to B for you on that one. Not that my, we, none of this matters. I, I need, I need your validation all day, every day. Uh, all right. Biorhythm. I don't know. Let's go back and forth. How about that? So. Okay. You do one, I do one. So Biorhythm, in my opinion, I've also spec'd on this, so I'm going to be full disclosure. There's an eight mana sorcery that Thank everybody's you. life total becomes the amount of, or it becomes the life of as many creatures as you control. Yeah. Uh, I think this one's an A for me, and I've fought it for a while, because before even Wizards even took over, <laughs> uh, I have I have a lot of these. That's what I'm saying. Full, full disclosure. <laughs> I have a lot of these, got them super cheap, got foil ones. Those weren't actually as cheap as you would think. Uh, like you mentioned earlier, these and the foil have really spiked because people are anticipation of yeah. this one getting on ban. So for me, A, how, where are you at with this one? Where do you? I think it's an A. I, I think it's an A for sure as well. I mean, that's, like, a, that's a lot of Eight mana. mana is right where you want it to be. If somebody doesn't have any creatures at, at this day and age, um, even if you're lower, like it, it is a you win card, but so is Cyclonic Rift. Yeah, right. Like, and this is an instant. It's a sorcery. You got to set shit up. Like, yeah. and most likely people. I, I have think creatures. this is fairer than that. <laughs> you know, like Cyclonic, you cast yeah. it. You are pretty much winning the game if you, unless you're just being a douche and making the game go longer. This everybody's gonna have creatures. You know, so yeah, I, I think this one's right. 
All right. Uh, Black Lotus. I guess I'll read this one, and then you do, you tell me where you're at. Black Lotus. <laughs> Everybody knows what Black Lotus is. Sacrifice right. it. It's a zero drop. You get three of any color. Uh, where are you at? A, B, or C? Um. Well, this is Wizards has it as a C. How about that? Yeah, I, I have it. I think it's an A personally. Really? But you think this, right? I think, think this and the Moxon can be unbanned. Okay, but I I we'll get to the mox in a little bit because I actually have the mox as an A. I have this as a C because I think like Jeweled Lotus is different because you're focused only on your commander. Black Lotus is anything. Like it could even be a boat. You know how much we wanted one of those. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm okay. How about this? I I know it's a C. I'm fine. I'm not gonna fight it either way. Wizards, I, yes. I don't... Okay, Wizards, C, yes. How about, Wizards has it as a C. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you you think... But for you personally, you think this could be an A? Like, you don't think it's um, that? Okay, here, here's... The, the format that can play anything should be able to play the most iconic card in the game. Touche. Touche. Like, e even though it would be busted, not many people are going to do it, other than people will start proxying more anyway. But we, we do know that... You know, Jeweled Lotus was a problem, so this would be even more of a problem. I get that. But I feel like I'd want to see Black Lotus more. Yeah. Like, I mean, we have Jota like, that makes so it, right? Iconic. Isn't it that one Jota version that makes... Is it Jota? Uh, the one not that you, Jota. Uh, no. Which one is that? The one that but makes... But I know the it's five Shivan color, Dragon, one eye. It, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Terror. What? Shit. I don't no, remember I his know. name. I want to no. know. Scryfall. What do we got? What is this? What did you think? What was one of the words? One-eyed. One-eyed. One-eyed, one-horned. Garth. Garth, one-eye. There, we go. there Garth. we go. Yeah. Sorry, I'm feeling my computer so, is like, I forgot to plug my cooler in, so my uh, computer's heating up a lot. So I'm doing that really quick. Okay. Well, I mean... There we go. Yeah, I get why you can do that. So, like, I just, I I think it'd be kind of fun, but I understand that it would be very upsetting to the format. So, if we were making house rules, I'd be like, if you got a fucking Black Lotus, yeah. Fuck yeah, fucking play that shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Do it. Any of the Moxon, for sure, go for it. I have no problem with that. Okay, um, well, well. Is let's... Wizards going to unban it? No. No way in hell. Let's get to the mox since you did that. We're you're jumping a little bit of ahead, but that's fine okay. because it's along the same lines. Uh, wizards <laughs> wise, where do you think the mocks are? Not you, because I also agree. It's an A. I, I I think wizards has them at um, a C as well. C level as well. Uh, yeah, I had it as an A, but I can see what you're saying there. Uh, and then somebody else mentioned agreed Robocop reserveless stuff they probably aren't going to touch. Uh, uh, Robocop said that. I highly doubt they'll touch anything in, in reserve list. So, <clears throat> all right. So you have, but I, for me, Black Lotus was a C. Mox, I feel like, are more fair. Although you don't sacrifice them, which is kind of the... Right. They're, they're around. They're free. They're yeah. basically like the other Moxen, which are really good. Can you imagine, I just though, don't see them. if they unbanned Mox... Or even black, what the price would do on those? Like those would go fucking bananas. Like I mean, that's the only reason right. that Gaius Cradle is as expensive as it is because it's in Commander. Uh, all right, uh, I believe you're reading the Braids one, and I'm the one saying my view on it first. So, all right, Braids Cabal Minion, uh, two colorless, two black, two two at the beginning of each player's uh, upkeep. That player sacrifices an artifact creature or land. Um, I think this one's a C. Only because C? only because uh, what the cool thing is what we have here. Uh, people that are watching, you can see what they say why this was banned. Uh, the the site I am on, mtgcommander.net has the uh, this little thing here. Um, I agree with what they said here is. A lot of things with braids is that if you can get braids out on your turn one or turn two, you screw the rest of the table over. They can't do anything the rest of the game. Uh, and you're just ahead and you just kill everybody. Like if if they can't right. play a land, if they have to sacrifice a land every turn because that's all they have, 
and you have braids out, all you do is slowly kill each person. You just locked them out. Yeah. So it's just... I think the big problem with it, though, is that it's the legend. Mm-hmm. So if it wasn't a legend, I think it'd be like a B. Right. Maybe even an A, like if it was just in the 99. But right. being a legend, I do think it's it's a C. Yep. Yep. I agree. All right. Uh, I read the next one. Channel. So channel is uh, two, two drop, and you can, uh, until end of turn, anytime you could basically pay one life to give you one colorless mana. So you can do it as many times as you want, but you just got to pay one life. So you can go, I need 20 colorless mana. I pay 20 life. And there's that. So, Lowry, where do you think this is? A, B, or C? And while you're talking, I'm going to get another beer. All right. Um, I think... I think this is a C for wizards. And again, this is maybe we just add in our opinions every once in a while. I do think this is a B personally. Um, but I do think it's a C. They they know how powerful it is for us and how powerful it's always been in every format that it's been legal in. Channel Fireballs named after the combo that basically wins games for it. Um, there's a reason. I, I did, feel I like it's very that. similar to like Aetherflux Reservoir, if that makes sense. Like you're paying life to deal damage more than likely. Mm-hmm. Like that's that's kind of what like you're casting. But but it, but casting but, like an Eldrazi on turn two seems ridiculous. But right? I, I do want to say is like keep in mind we, we're getting tier levels. So in right. the tier level aspect, do you think? That this could be unbanned. i think wizards a c me personally is a b okay i have it as a b as well i i think i think okay. with the tier system of and it, for people i don't know if we have uh i know robocop is just jumping into the cdh uh realm of stuff but if we have people that have been playing cdh is this something that's way too powerful or is this something that you know like then everybody's gonna play green i'd be curious right to, i think to, you go green blue black and you're searching for this every game right like tutoring so okay all right like, so, that's so much mana so both agree kind of we would like a b but you're thinking c for wizards wise and i, I can think see so, what you're yeah. saying there too uh <laughs> chaos orb larry you don't need to read it but just say what it does i mean um you can activate chaos orb and flip it from the top of <laughs> i think like i think it's feet? an arm length above the table yeah, and then like you flip it and then whatever it lands on it destroys um this is very unique in uh the mechanic part of yeah. of what's going on yeah I, where, where do you have it uh, i have it as c like it's just see yeah. it, it feels very uncard un unset like and so i don't unless yeah. they un unban uncards in commander i don't think this uh, this doesn't this stays banned i don't think this one even has a possibility agreed c level okay uh yeah we got to move quicker i guess coalition victory so this one is the three and then wooberg if you have every land type and is that it just every land type and a creature of each color there we go so every land type and a creature of each color you win the game it's not even you cast this and then that happens it's not an enchantment it's a sorcery so cast it as long as you have that you meet those requirements you win the game lowry a b or c a a okay I, I'm kind of in the realm of everybody else. I think it's a it's a big enough requirement. You know, there are cards out there that give land type of land types mm. to there, it may, your land. It's a lot easier now with that, but yeah. But also, I think when this was banned way back then, I'm not reading any of this extra text, and right, I, right. I like that that's there. But um, there were very few you win the game cards, and there's a lot more now. Yep, I and think- so. I, I think the only I can see it as an A, but I put it as a B only because a lot of those you win the game cards, people see it coming. This one is you cast it and it's done. You know what I'm saying? It comes out of nowhere. I can see that. So that was my only reason. Like if it was an enchantment and you're like, oh, at the beginning of your upkeep, you win the game if you have X, Y, and Z, then yeah. But um, but yeah, I mean, this is one of the big targets. This is one of the A targets, I, right. I would agree. I think eight mana with five different colors. Like, right, right. Yep. I, I do think all, sorcery speed, you know, um, there's enough people running counter spells out there. Like, I wouldn't like it in our play group <laughs> right. because we don't have counter spells in that regard. Yeah. But also, if you're running any sort of removal and can get rid of the colored creature, 
because it fizzles. Yeah. So like, I, I think this is fine. I yep. think they're cool with it. Yep. I mean, there's a lot of, that's a lot of, that's five and three colors, man. I mean, that's, that's, that's a tough thing to come by and then you have to meet the stipulation. So you're jumping through hoops just to get that. You got your, uh, you got things to jump through. All right. One of our new band cards, Lowry. Why don't you tell us what this one is? Dockside Extortionist, uh, the big bad goblin that gives you treasures for as many artifacts and enchantments your opponents control. Um, everybody knew it was a crazy card. It stuck around for years and years at this point. I think uh, it's an A. Recently banned. I think where, it's an where A. Where you got it at? I think it's an you A. You think it's an A? I think in CDH, this is fine. Like I, You think this is like a Cat, cat 4? <laughs> yeah. Powerful Her, card. Are we talking about hurricanes now again? Uh, that, I think we should have power levels associated with, with hurricane levels. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. So I think Docs, the season. I, we've had Docs for, okay. for a long time. Uh, and it's a CEDH card and they've been dealing with it for years and years and years. And it hasn't been like something that they've claimed that they want banned. It's more of the casual players. I felt like that it hurt more than anything. So if they yeah. do this tier system, I think this is an A. I think this is one of the cards that gets unbanned. What about you? I think that's a really good point. Um, if they do do the tier, do you do uh, the tier system? Poop. The this is a tier four card. Yeah. And I and I can agree with that logic. Yeah. I don't think so it's going to go in casual. I don't think it'll be in the other tiers. But yeah, the highest. I don't tier. think it's going to be unbanned on the first time they make an announcement yeah. for unbanning. Yeah, you might be right on that. I too. don't think so. I think they're going to stay away from the three uh, for sure on that. Uh, but yeah, all right. Oh, uh, unless unless there is a huge change, like unbannings, bannings, we are totally shaking up the format. But again, I don't see them doing that. Right. All right. So, so Amber Cool the Aeons Torn. So. One of the <laughs> first cards that got banned when Commander was started. Uh, basically, can't be countered. You get an extra turn if you cast it. It has protection from everything, or not every. Is it everything? From spells. Instance and sorceries. One I or think. more colors. Maybe it's everything. No, yeah, it's spell uh, protection from spells that are one or more colors. Annihilator six, and then if it goes in your graveyard or whatever, it gets shuffled back in. Lowry. I mean, this is a 15 drop. This is cost 15 you think this gets on ban where a b or no. c a b or c i got this out of c oh really yeah Man. i i got this out of c i do think this is this Even is one of those cards being colorless that the reason if i'm remembering right because the again the writing there is too small for me to see but it just went in every deck right and so like it's just one of those cards that they already said that they don't really like when it comes to like, even though those are glue cards with Arcane Signet, Command Tower, like cards that go in every deck, this is that. Yeah, it, just it's, it's your big powerhouse. It's literally what the, the text says. It says, is it? Uh, as an amazing colorless, colorless finisher, it was too tempting for too many decks. So too many decks right. just put it all in there. Um, and so like this, this made bribery really popular as a card, and we'll talk about another one too. But bribery is just a blue card. You can go search for through somebody's library and put a creature from their deck into play, and you just ran. You ran that because everybody ran Emrakul, yeah. and you'd get an Emrakul on turn four or five, tutored for it into play. It was fucking bonkers. Yeah, but they don't get the extra turn, so it's fine, right? No, it's not. <laughs> it has protection. Has the Annihilator sixteen? Like sixteen? It's game over. It's yeah. fifteen, fifteen flying. <laughs> it's fucking wild. But man, I mean, you, you have all the it's the memes with the, the squirrels like taking down later, this is Still wild. It is. it is a ridiculous card. I had it. I had it as a B only because I was like, hey, I think CEDH would like this card, but I, I can see what you're saying there. Uh, all Just right. all these fucking Emrakuls throwing at each other. Like, I'll steal yours, you'll steal mine, and you're just fighting over Emrakuls. That sounds terrible. <laughs> all right, Larry, uh, can you, do you know what this one, can you read the text? Um, you... For the most part, uh, Arayu, Soratami Ascendant, uh, it's blue and a colorless, comes down. I think whenever you Play counter a fourth, spell. Fourth spell, whenever you... The fourth spell you play, uh, you flip it. And then uh, the, the first, first spell, spell every turn yeah. is countered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so oh, that's the part. The flip part sucks. It's basically braids. You're stopping everybody's first play. Um, 
And I, I would compare this to Braids. Yeah, so it, if you think Braids has a shot, it's a legend. And, you know, I well, think that's the problem. Uh, yeah, that's the problem. That's the big thing. But the thing I'll say that's a little different than Braids is that you still have to cast four spells for this to flip over. And then even if their spells are countered, the first spell, it's like playing a counter spell player anyways. So I don't I actually don't see the problem with this because when you play a counter spell player, you're always having to bait them. You're like, oh, well, I'm going to throw this spell out to see if they'll counter it. Oh, they aren't. Okay. So maybe I'll try to do, you know what I'm saying? Like there's ways think, around Think about it. how good the, the new Jenga Taxis is where it counters the first artifact instant or sorcery spell. Yeah. And that's like 10 mana. Yeah. And this, is this is two, a, as a legend, attached to casting four spells, which is not hard for blue, blue to do. Right. But it's not like braids where braids can happen in that first turn. Like this is going to be something that happens. Yeah. I mean, this can easily happen. In the, I Yeah. You can definitely do this on the first turn. This seems like it could you be. You go land and then you could do like a mox, which is a spell, a Ryu, which is a spell a another mox and a cantrip that's four spells flip it wait you're saying which moxes are you talking about just the other any, moxes? the moxes they're all zero spells well i know but you you're got talking mox. about are you talking about mox the ones we're going to unband anyways pro mox <laughs> no, no, no 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 but just like there's enough so, free spells that are super easy so you're you, a, you could you're do this a c first on this one it. is what you're trying to tell me i'm saying it's a c okay i had it as a b i had it as a b or wherever you want to put braids Wherever you well, think Braids is going to be. I think Braids is worse than that one, but I can I can see your argument with that. Because it is two, so it's less to come out. Uh, but yeah. Okay. Uh, next one, Falling Star. This is the Andy? same. This uh, No, this one is the flipping, and it's like the chaos oh. thing, and then it does okay. three damage to whatever it touches. I think it's the same thing, or same argument as Chaos Orb, so it's just it's an uncard. See? Yep. Yeah. Uh, I'll do. I'll say fast bond. You give us the thing. So fast bond, one drop enchantment. You may play as many uh, lands on your turn, uh, and then you just take one damage for each one beyond the first. Fast bond. Where do you think fast bond is? B. That's where I had it too. In my heart, I want it to be an A. I love fast bond, but I think I think it's a B. I think like I think the thing. That holds fast bond. Like I've mentioned this before, this picture is how when when Commander started. This is how I always pictured Commander: that you are a wizard casting your creatures and stuff, and you're fighting against other people. This is I love this card so much. I think the downfall of this one though is we have so much, and it's in green. So you have Remanop Excavator. You have your you know you have your Crucible, Crucible of Worlds. Worlds. So you, you got you, the new one that was in the the room. The rooms you're allowed yeah. to. They, yeah. They, we have a lot of Agreed. that stuff. So like playing your strip mine, and then it's like <laughs> brrr, you have no land forever, and I just take one damage every time I'm doing this. Like that just it. That's where I'm like, oh, is it really a C? Is it like is it a C? Well, this and this is something that um, Jake, cousin Jake, when he was playing with us, he was doing this. Like he was, it was he was playing vintage or whatever. We weren't fucking on that level. But he was going fast bond with Zeron Orb, Crucible oh, yeah. World, and so he would, and then he'd do like Invictor's Justice, which is like a buyback. So it's like two damage each creature and each player, and then he just gain a ton of life, God, infinite you're, life. You infinite remember mana. a lot. Of, I remember the Zeron Orb part, but I didn't realize. I didn't remember it was fast bond and stuff. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. No, it's called uh, trauma. And so sometimes you repress it and sometimes you remember. <laughs> well, that's what that's why I hate counter spells is because uh, Cousin yeah. Jake. Yep. We sure. remember that trauma. <laughs> so that's fast bonds really fucking good. Yeah. Like really, really good. I think it's uh, I think I'm talking myself down to a C I think for it is wizards. A C. I think it is. A I think C. it's a C. I, I fucking like hate it a lot. That. I have it. I wrote it as a B, but I really think it's a C. I don't think uh, I think there's too much recursion and playing from your graveyard with it so yeah uh all right flash Lowry, read it to me uh flash is one of the blue instant uh you may pay uh you may pay a car uh put a creature card from your hand under the grave or under the battlefield in a uh, play yeah. you sacrifice it unless you pay the casting cost minus two um 
Oh, yeah. I'm supposed to say it. This was banned because of, like, CEDH hated it. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. This was too good for CEDH. Oh, shit. I put it as an A. <laughs> the CEDH, if I'm remembering right, does not want this. Oh, that's crazy. Because, it, it, as you see, it got banned in 2020. So this was around for a while, too, before it got actually banned. Um I don't remember anybody in our casuals playing this as much. I'm like, hey, this is totally, no. a, this is totally a fair it's card. It's such a fucking combo card. Yeah. Such a fucking That's combo. probably why it's not in our uh, in our, our play group at all. But I had it as an A, right. but if CEDH hated it, so I don't know if my, my A rating is, uh, yeah. I know it's not really for the casuals and the CEDH players at that point did not like it. Um, so you probably had a C with this one then? Yeah. See. Yeah, I think they're happy about it. Okay uh gifts ungiven so this is uh the four drop uh one blue three colorless instant search your library for up to four cards with different names and reveal them uh an opponent chooses two of them puts them into your hand and uh or puts two into the graveyard two in your hand then you shuffle larry where are you at with gifts ungiven this got banned in right away 2009 before we even uh really got yeah. going with commander to me this is a a yeah, uh, we I, have a card very similar, yeah. if not the same, in intuition. Yeah, um, maybe it's just having two of them makes it harmful, but I, I think you have a card that is essentially the same thing, but on the reserve list, I'd probably rather have it flipped so that we can get some reprint. I mean, we still get reprints of gifts on given, but I just uh, I understand that it's a combo getter, it, it fetches into the graveyard. But we got we have Entomb, we have Intuition, we have plenty of cards that are similar to this. Yeah. I think it's fine to unban. Yep. And I think Wizards can see that too. Yep, I can see that. And this has never been basically in Commander, so they haven't even seen how it right. is. Like you said, there's others like it. All right, uh, why don't you read me Golos? What do we got going with Golos? Golos, Tireless Pilgrim. This is five mana. Uh, when it comes into play, go, go search for any land and put it into play for your... And then you can pay like something like seven or eight and then look at the top X amount of cards and put one into play. Um, it got banned in 2021, not that long ago. Um, right, I remember. This This was a big hubbub when that was banned too. Yeah. Um, uh, it is a legend. I think that is another big thing. I put it in an, at an A. I I didn't think that this one needed to get banned when it got banned before because I didn't. Again, it's it's our preference of like our, our play group. I never saw. I think maybe one person had a Golos deck. I did, <laughs> but I didn't. I didn't think there was prop like any issues with Golos. But um, I I made a Gates deck, so it was fucking Gates going for the Gate win with the. <laughs> You know the yeah. land that won you the game. Yeah, because um, it's um, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. What is it? Enters the battlefield. You may search your library for up to one land card. Okay, so you go get that gate. Yeah, I don't know where are you at with this. Where do you think uh, Wizards has this one located? I I think it's unbannable. I I truly do. You think it's? A I C? do think they're. What's that? You think it's a C or? Oh no. No, I think this Bantable. is unbannable. I think this is an A or a B. I think it's probably an A for me, but maybe a B for Wizards. Um, I think I remember one of the things that I remember why it was banned was because it kind of cut the commander tax in half. Um, and so like, oh, because they're getting a land every if time you kill you if you if it was killed by the time it came out and you had a land in hand, it just came out the next turn like always. You did there was no delay. Um, and so I think it was the consistency that Golos going and getting a land made it like ever present. Like it was impossible to get rid of. So, so the, the one reason why I put it in a is because actually if you read in the comment here, it says there are many problems with this card, but the greatest is that in low to middle power level tiers. So what I was like, well, then we're going to have a higher, a high power or a high level tier. So why wouldn't this be allowed in that? And so that's why I super I agree. So yeah, that makes a ton of sense. All right, uh, Gristle Brand. We have not had this one. Well, I guess it was 2012, <laughs> but I don't remember ever. It's around for a little bit. So it's the uh, four black, four colorless. It's a demon seven seven flying life link. Pay seven life, draw seven cards. Lowry, this is pretty fucking brutal. Where do you think this is? A, B, or C? Think this one's getting unbanned? 
I, I'm I'm gonna put this in the fast bond category, and this is this is a C in my mind. Being a legend, especially. Oh yeah, I guess but the legend part. The, the drawing and paying life has always been a problem. Do we think this is better than Necropotence? Probably not. But being a legend makes it a problem. Because yeah, that, make that as your commander. I add it as a B, but I can I can see the uh, the arguments with the uh, with that being like I, I didn't even think about the legendary part. I was like. This just popping into your 99, like it's fine, but yeah, yeah, if you make it your commander, I get it. It's, I mean, it's, yeah, yeah. All right, uh, Hall Breacher, Lowry, read it to me. Or if you can, two colorless blue. Uh, it is a flash merfolk rogue. And whenever an opponent draws a card beyond their first, they don't get to draw, and you get to make treasures. Uh, I had Hall Breacher at an A because we have similar cards like it. You don't think oh, so? Nope. Well, no, 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 not making the treasures part. I mean, like the, uh, the one that's the, um, the black and blue card that does a similar thing where you draw their cards. Instead. Notion Thief? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so like, it's going to be a, yeah. yeah, but go ahead. I, I, my thing is I keep putting it in my head is CDH or the highest tier level. Why can't this be in that kind of those decks you know that tier not in our format i don't think it's going to be in like a lot of these i don't think are going to be in our format a lot of these that i say are a i don't think we're playing with them i don't think they're getting unbanned in ours but i think they're getting unbanned in the highest tier so uh, that's why i had this one as an a i am opposite i am a c on c. this one i could i mean yeah i'm I a c it. on this i i think the biggest thing is that I agree that Notion Thief kind of like stops the extra drawing and stuff like that. And that's what Hull Breacher does too. But that extra mana, this this ends up being one of the best hate cards in blue and the best ramp cards for blue. Yeah. Like that that is a problem and I don't like it. <laughs> and you also have examples on this list of where cards are banned. So, um, and we'll get to that, Leo Vold. Um, but... I think there's a C. I okay. don't I don't see any way. Uh Iona Shield of Emeria. So this one it was banned a few well it's at this point five years ago. Uh it's an angel that basically when it comes into play, you shut down a color. You say this color can't be uh, played anymore and your opponents can't cast that. Where are you at with uh with Emeria or uh, Iona? Iona, I'm I'm a B. Where do I have Iona? I'm a B as well. I I I, I don't think this is a hard, like, has to be banned type thing, but it does suck when it's in play. Like, it does. You're either shutting one and a half players down, or it's just, it's not really fun. It's very cheatable in. Like, it's a reanimation target. It's, it was in every Kalia deck before it was banned. Um, so I, we worked around it though. I'm, I'm like sure I, we've dealt with it. One. We dealt with yeah. it, you know. But it did suck when it was like somebody was monocolor, and you're like, "Yep, oh, can't play green anymore." Fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> it, it was brutal. It, it made for some brutal games. Yeah. Uh, um, I believe this is one of this is where Chaos Warp probably got cemented in my head as just super random, because I think I Chaos Warped yours, and then you shuffled it in. I cut, and then it went came back out <laughs> you probably and then he just named me <laughs> after that you got, so, you've been um, burned by chaos warp so many yeah, times it's yeah. kind of ridiculous hey, uh, so I, i'm a solid b there and, and painter servant is a combo with it totally agree there's a reason why they like before painter servant was banned and iona was legal and then they decided to unban painter servant and ban iona i think that was the right choice um, I don't know. And again, I don't know if you want Iona legal that you get rid of painter servant. I don't know. I, I don't think that's the answer. Yep. Uh, if I have to choose one or the other, it's I'm Iona. happy painter servants is, is unbanned. Legal. Yep. Uh, all right. Uh, another card that just got recently banned jeweled Lotus. I, I mean, we know that with this one, it's zero costing, comes down, you can sack it, you get three mana of any one color for your commander. I think this is an A. This. I think it's an A. But I think it's the Agreed. same line that you said with Dockside, that they might not do it right away, but they might do this one right away, because this is like, 
commander written all over it. Like this is only a commander right. card. So I actually, let me take that back. I, I agree with your take on Dockside. I don't think it fits here. I think they, this is one of the first ones that comes off. Is I can agree with that. I, I think this is an A as well. I think it's that tier four play. Yeah. So yep. I'm good with that. All right. Uh, Caracas. It is one white, uh, or you can tap it for one white, or you can tap it for to return a legendary creature to its owner's hand. Whew. C. Yep. I added it C as well, because being able to pop uh, anybody's commander with really no downside, like. Right. It's, and or save your commander. I think that's also a, it mentions in the comments there is like, it's easy protection for your commander, but most likely it's. Oh, you're not killing my commander? Okay, now I'm popping yours back to your hand. So, and it's it's a land. Like if it was a creature, sure, you can kill creatures easy, but a land is a lot harder to just like probably the hardest it's thing. It's hard to, to deal with. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Agreed. Uh Leovold. Uh, Leovold is a legend that basically states that if your opponents draw more than one card, they don't get to draw more cards. And with it being a legend in blue and black. They would, people would wheel everybody. Your opponents would go down to uh, zero, one card in hand, and the game was fucking over. And it's three mana, just a black, blue, and green. Like, it was over real quick. Okay, I put B, but the way you said it there, I might be down to a C. <laughs> I think this is a C. I, the way he said it, I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's a C, especially because it's a commander. All right. Yeah. So Again, if this was, I, yeah, I think this is worse than Hull Breacher. So if we were like, if I'm leveling C's, this is like Hull Breacher is more likely C, to be unbanned. C than plus, this. and this is a C minus, is what you're trying to tell yeah. me. <laughs> yeah. All right. Library of Alexandria. So this can tap for one color as mana, or uh, if you have seven cards exactly in your hand, you can tap it to draw a card. Uh, a, B, or C here, Larry. Oh, this could be an A. Uh huh. If it wasn't reserve list stuff, like it's so expensive, I totally think this could be an A as well. Like what I is put this A. Price tag at? Fuck, it's thousands, man. Like, yeah, man. I, I mean, it could be unbanned. Yeah, like seven Easily. cards. That's like you have to have exact. It's not seven or more either. Uh, you may you could, uh, only if you have exactly seven cards. Like this is an. This is a card that could be played. Like they should remake this card and just call it a different name. It's like a problem in vintage. And uh <laughs> Library not, of not a not a good card. Not Alexandria. I don't know. Something else. Just make it a, something a little different, tweak it. Because this is totally something you could have. Like, Library so. of Babylon. <laughs> uh all right, so we both thought it was an A, but uh wait, wait, wait. We think it's an A. <laughs> what is Wizards gonna do though? Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. Um I think it, uh, the reserve list comment that Robocop C. said was, I think he's right. I think because I think it is a C. It's already super expensive. I don't see them unbanning it like you're saying. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Not that I own it or anything. I just, <laughs> it's like it's, they need to unban more stuff. I mean, if you unban some of these really, really expensive cards, then proxies are wide open. Right. So, I, all right. Limited resources, one white enchantment. Uh, when it comes into play, each player chooses uh, five lands, five lands, and, and then sacrifices the last. As long as there are, so you can't go above five lands, right? Mm -hmm. Well, as long as uh, there are ten or more lands, no one can play lands anymore. Yeah, so it's a C. <laughs> that's a C. You can't have that in Commander. Like that's by turn two, it's already over. You know, right? So you play this, and it's a one drop enchantment. <laughs> It's, right. This is dumb. So that's an easy that's, one. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, uh, was it L Lutri? Lutri. The spell catcher. Thank you for not having me pronounce it. Chaser. Because... <laughs> spell chaser. Uh, so it has the companion, so it can be in your deck as long as what is it? Each. Fuck, I can't read it. each. I think it's each spell in your deck is like has a different instant or sorcery. No, each non-land card in your deck has a different name, which is commander. Mm. Uh, and then it has flash, and then it basically duplicates. So when you cast an instant or sorcery, 
you get to do a second one and choose new targets. Yeah. Okay. All right. Where are you at with that one? I'm, I'm an A. Uh, what did I have? I I'm put, an A because... Go ahead. I, I put B because it just fits with your... Like, because this fits with Commander. So you have your Commander and then this fits right. with it. So it's in a spell slinging the, the colors... And it just always goes with that. So it's like it's but, always. But I think that I think the thing that balanced it out super is the the additional champion cost where you got to pay three to put it in your hand, and then pay another three oh, to cast this. I forgot about this. that part. Yeah. So I about if we're talking part. about that going on, like as long as that's on, then yes, I, I would I would say A. But if it's like, not, to me, it's an A. I, I can see a B, but. Yeah, and Joel's just saying. Did, yeah, name. it's three three mana to put it into your hand. Yeah. Um, so I I can see it being an A or a B. I don't think this is just a never now, being on Vanguard. Now, is though. there a nerf where it like basically? <laughs> so you put it in your hand, then you play this and it gets killed. Well, then it just goes to your graveyard. Never mind. It's not a commander. So never mind. I just answer my own question. So forget it. Uh, but yeah, if if that is in in play. Uh, I agree. I think this could be an A. That, that'll be in a lot of uh, top tier stuff. All right. Uh, Monocrypt. Yeah. Where are we at with Monocrypt? We just got this uh, This is a zero mana rock that was just banned. You can tap it to get two mana colorless. And then at your upkeep, you flip a coin and take three damage if you lose that flip. Where do you got it? Uh, I have it as an A as well. So Yeah, this um, one is an A. Yeah, I, I have this as an A, but it might. This one might be more in the long, uh, along the lines of Dockside, where it might not get unbanned right away. I like Jeweled Lotus better that it gets unbanned right away. This one might be in later, but it could also go with Jeweled Lotus. Um, again, not saying the super casual stuff, top tier stuff. All of uh, these yeah. pretty much are uh, saying agreed. Uh, and I think when we say this, I think down the line. All of these stay banned in the format that we play, is what I'm saying. I think, for the most part, 95% of them are that like we are saying. We, we could definitely play Biorhythm. That's what I was going to say. Biorhythm and yeah. another one that's coming up later, I think might get unbanned in our format, but I think those are the only, like. I think Coalition Victory would be fine. I, think I, I mean, yeah, yeah, I don't. But, I, I mean, like, I, at the end, I, I agree. I agree with everything that you're saying, but I'd still, I'd probably put it at a B. At a B? Yeah. I think, yeah. I for got wizards. It. What I think, A. What I think, wizards, B. B. Okay. I gotcha. Well, right. I mean, it's kind of that along that dock side idea. Right. Like, it might, but it, it really could just, like, be gone. Yeah. Uh, we already talked about the Moxes. We already got that one. So now we got Nadu that just got also banned. Uh, so Nadu is the, uh, you know, everybody knows Nadu. So I don't need to explain that one. Yeah. Uh, where do you have um, Nadu sitting here, Lau? I'm I'm okay with the ban. Uh, I'll, I'll put it at a B. That's where I have it. Too. I don't think it was a huge problem, but also I can it's very abusable. The wording's wrong. Or they they messed up on the card. Yep, they just needed to change a couple words and it'd have been totally fine. So yep, both of yep. us think B. Uh, you're on this. I one? can't read that. It's the pano. I know it's panoptic mirror, but I can't see like any fucking thing on it. So isn't it the one where it's <clears throat> imprint? So you tap X and tap it. You may uh, at the beginning of keep. God, I can't read it either. <laughs> Hang no. on. You may Fucking. remove an instant or sorcery with converted mana cost X or less from your hand from the game. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may copy an imprinted instant or sorcery card and play the copy without paying its mana cost. So each of your upkeeps, you can play the imprinted card. But when you imprint, you have to pay X and tap this. Imprint. You may remove. Oh, no. It's just you imprint it from your hand. So you don't yeah. not when you play it. You just do it whenever. All right, so uh, for me, I, I think it's it, okay. I have it as a B. You have a B. Yeah, but it's been banned the entire time we've been playing Mad or Commander. So yeah, I might not know why this one is uh, like that. Uh, I, I could see it being an A. Banned because incidental, often accidental uses, uh, boring games and all that stuff. Because you just keep. 
beginning of your upkeep, you keep casting it for free. There is no downside. Do we not? Do we not have cards like that though already? What's that and scepter? Like What's the scepter one? But it's three or it's less. It's a crown scepter. Three or less, right? Yeah, but it's also two mana and two mana. Yeah. Yeah, and this, this is, is five. Five, five to, and X to whatever. But what if it's you find a uh, extra turn spell, then you have infinite extra turns. That that maybe that's the that's the key right there. It's just infinite turns. Yeah, because you just. Get I it. mean, we could do that all I, again. I, it's B. How yeah. about I'll, I'll go with a B. All right, you, you, I got you down to my B level. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, paradox engine. Did I read that last one? Yeah. Uh, no, this uh, one's on you. You did, but that was for yourself because none of us could read it. Uh, so, <laughs> so Paradox Engine. Uh, I'll, I'll read this one okay. to you. Paradox Engine, five mana artifact, legendary. Not Can't be a commander. But whenever you cast a spell, untap all um, non-land permanents you control. I think this is a B. Where, where? I think it's you a think B. You think this is a fucking B? Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Remember... I'm not saying for us, our play group, like our level. I'm talking like CDH. I'm talking the highest tier level. Sure. You're not untapping the lands. You're untapping your other stuff. They like to do D-Gen stuff. This is a D-Gen card. And it wasn't banned for the longest time. For two years, it didn't get unbanned or didn't get banned. And we dealt with it in regular Commander. They didn't even have CDH then. So... Why, I, for me, when they're if they're doing these tier systems, I think you need to bring in the most powerful stuff, because that's that's what it is. It's like you said with the Black Lotus stuff. Is like, Commander is all about bringing in as much cards as you can, especially if we have these tier systems. Is you can get away with putting these crazy cards in there and see how it works out. I want to see what. Where'd this you put does. this? I put this as a. Did I say B? Yeah, I said B. I didn't say A. I said B. I said B. B. Come on, B. No, I'm, I'm gonna go see. Oh, I don't. I don't see this. I don't think Wizards is gonna unban this. <laughs> All right. Uh, Prime Evil Titan. This is what got the juices flowing of why this episode started for me. Like I was just like, shit, things are moving. I love this card. I played with this when it was still banned, and Lowry's like, you can't. I was like, I don't even know what a ban list is, Lowry. What are you talking about? We're playing Commander. We don't. We don't follow any of these rules, and you're like, yep, that's banned. Every time I played it, banned. Uh, when Primeval Titan comes into play and when he attacks, you get to go search for two land cards. Not basic land cards, two land cards. Put them into play tapped. Uh, where are you at with this one, Lowry? A, a C. B, a C? Yeah. You really think this is a C? I, I truly think this is a C, unless they actually say what they're good if they're going after fast mana and they if they man you think this, this is, is that trade-off they would have to ban guys cradle and coffers for this to be unbanned in my opinion yeah but oh i have this as an a this so is the, the that's biggest. that's where that's where it is in my mind as long as those two cards and maybe even trying to nick those being unbanned there's no my no way in my mind that primeval titan becomes unbanned because this was also the Emrakul problem of it was in every green deck. Any deck that ran it for sure. Ran it. Yeah, for there sure. was no question. And I and I think that made decks I too did. ubiquitous <laughs> and they wanted to avoid that. And again, tier I system think though. Even even in tier system. Even in the tier system, the that tier is going to be playing coffers and guys cradle. They won't play this. Like that there's no way they unban this in my opinion. Mm. I have it as that, an A. This is the biggest. Uh, okay. Just no. That's that's what you want. No, no. I I mean, that's what you. But that, want. it's not just me. It's that's what you're saying. Is this? I is know one of the a lot of people spiking. want it, but yeah. they're wrong. <laughs> this one's one of the biggest ones that are spiking. Like more than the, my other guys, this is the one that's spiking, and it, it might be also because it has a higher price point to start off with because it is played in other formats because it is a good card. Yeah. Um, so that, that, that's also a factor there, but, um, yeah, I had this as an A, you have it as C, that's, it's fine. We'll, we'll see. With, that. Again, it, it becomes unbannable once you remove those two or three lands. 
But they have to be really serious about what they're talking about with the mana positive type cards. So when they're talking about Dockside, when they're talking about Jeweled Lotus, when they're talking, if they start going after Guy's Cradle, after those cards that give you shit tons of mana at once, and they can repeatedly do it, if they get rid of those cards, then prime time comes back. So it, I never, I, that, I, I that's see, what I would expect. I can see Gaia's going away, but Cabal, I don't think is that that's not going away. So, um, all right. Uh, next, Prophet of Crew Fix. Uh, is this me reading? The beer is getting to my. That brain. is uh, three green and a blue, uh, two three untap. Uh, all basically non land. Uh, permanence at the beginning of each player's or nope. each opponent's on tap step. Get that, is that wrong? right? All creatures and lands. That's the problem with it. Oh, it's lands? Yeah. Creatures and lands? All creatures and lands during each oh, player's up. Nuts. <laughs> and and oh, you can yeah, cast creature flash spells part. at flash. So this I has about that's the I think that's the problem. <laughs> this has three 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 cards in one. Like there, we have cards that all do this. But this right, is this is Leyline of Anticipation and Seedborn Muse. <laughs> this is in uh, one card. In one card. Um, That's a problem. I put it at a B. <laughs> <laughs> I want this. I did again. This is another card. I will. You know, full disclosure. I did buy a bunch of these in foil. Did too. Because uh, I I was like, oh, this isn't that bad. You know, power creep. Blah 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 blah. I mean, it does a lot. It does it's a fucking lot. bonkers. It's not um, legendary. Hey, we got that going for us. So that's why you're I right. But it doesn't. You're right. <laughs> How about this? I think this is a stronger C than prime time. How about that? Like this is less likely to be unbanned than prime time. <laughs> that's, this is a deep C, <laughs> in my opinion. Like that C minus kind of thing you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, this All is right. a C minus card. There ain't no way. <laughs> Shit. I don't All right. Think this is <laughs> All right. Uh, reoccurring nightmare. Sacrifice a creature. Return reoccurring nightmare. Uh, donor's hand. Put target creature from your graveyard into play. Play this ability only as a sorcery. Where we got this, Lowry? Got a C. C is for cookie. <laughs> Good enough for me. What is yeah, the What is the reason for C? Um, it's a repeatable. Um, reanimation aspect like sacrificing any card or any creature bringing that back to your hand three mana sack a creature bring a fatty back from the graveyard and then three mana do it again right. like fuck there the, the, it's just it's disgusting even on the high again. power stuff yeah. even on the high power stuff i don't think so all right I I, so. I had bc on this one too so we're we're about the same part all right one of my favorites that i Love this card, uh, Rufus. <laughs> the fellows, this is the this was the first card I was like, that's banned. You're like, what's that? Yeah. Like, like no. you child. <laughs> two green, two one. Uh, Rufus, also a legend. Uh, but taps add the amount of green mana to your pool for as many forests as you control. We already have this kind of card. No, we don't. Yeah, we do. But she's a lot. She's like four green instead of uh, the two green. Which and one she's is not this? Legendary. Uh, wasn't it from like the uh, set from like a couple years ago or last year? Wasn't it from? Uh, I thought it was one of the March of the Mas Machine. You know what I'm talking about? It's she's like four green. It's like one, two, three, four green, and she does the same thing. One, two, I three, count. four. <laughs> Are you saying it's three green and then it taps for as many creatures as you control? Oh, maybe that's that one. Maybe is that one? Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Oh yeah, because this that one's one. forest. This one is forest you control. But yeah. anyways. So um, hashtag team forest walk. Hashtag uh, team forest walk. Yeah, but mine would be really good. Just get saying. the fuck Probably, probably out. better than Urza's Saga. Uh, thanks, Rufus, Joel. I have as an A. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking. No. That's a C. Uh, that is the definition why? of a C. There is no way they're unbanning that. <laughs> because it's legendary? Yeah, it's it, it's exactly what they just banned everything for. Come on, for. man. Let us have some fun with these damn cards. Oh, Let's like, see. I like your face. All right. Uh, Shaharazad. I don't even know what this card does. Uh, it creates sub games, oh, yeah, and sub you got to beat that game. I this said is a C. C. This is a C. We don't even need yeah, yeah, yeah. side games. It's not fun. 
Uh, you are on the Sundering Titan, unless you want to read it. Sundering Titan is a seven mana, seven ten artifact creature. When it comes into eight play, mana. Eight, eight mana. All right. Well, uh, when it ETBs, everybody has to sacrifice lands down to what? No, you pick a oh, land, one, one, one type of, of every type. land type, yeah. and then you got to sacrifice the last, the rest. Yep. Um, no. How about that? <laughs> you forgot if, go if with... it also leaves the battlefield. So if you flicker it. You do it when it leaves, and then when it comes back in. Stupid. I think I put this as a B. <laughs> no. What is this C? All right. I, but the this high... is repeatable. This is reanimatable. Yeah, this is, is the flicker. Um, artifacts is, can come out real quick. Yeah, it's a C. Um, uh, all it's right. C. Sway the Stars. Eight. Two blue sorcery. Each player shuffles his or her hand, graveyard, permanence he or she controls into the library. Draw seven cards and their life total becomes seven. Come I on. think this is this is an A. Oh, I thought you were gonna say C. I was like, yeah, this is no. an A. We have this World an Fire, and this is it. This is not as Just bad. Just a blue as World... version of it. Yeah, it's not as bad as World Fire. I mean, I guess it's in blue. That's the the excuse that I read from the rules committee from before why they unbanned World Fire and didn't unban this one, um, just because blue is has more tools with that stuff, but th this is better because you're not, everybody's getting cards. Whereas world fire, a limit doesn't eliminate everything from their hands. And everybody's life is at one exiles, the hand and everything in play and graveyards and everybody's life total goes to one. Yeah. So this one is like, this one is the biorhythm effect too, where I'm like, this is probably going to get unbanned pretty quick. So yeah. Uh, yep. Sway of the stars. All right. Larry. Uh, Sylvan Primordial, five and two green for six H Reacher. When it ETBs, you get to destroy a non-creature card from each opponent and then go and get a basic land and put it uh, into play tap for each permanent destroyed. Um, what are I, your thoughts? It's seven drop. I put it at a B. It's a why convince me <laughs> it's a seven drop <laughs> it has removal built on it it doesn't it, it is an etb so it's not casting um and you're destroying a non uh non oh it's a non-creature permanent oh if it was a non land yeah. to be better because then you're not destroying yeah. their land um and i think that's the problem with it is because it doesn't if it said the non it's still fine you're not killing their creatures they're happy you're just destroying their lands. I believe this was banned before Panharmonicon even existed. Yes. <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> it, it says it was banned in uh, 2014. Panharmon. Oh, Panharmonicon. Oh, yeah. That oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a good point. I was thinking when you said that that you were talking about uh, one of the other banned cards that we just talked about. The uh, oh. Paradox Engine. And I was like, yeah, it was. Oh, okay. I thought you were just yeah. saying reference-wise. So, I mean, oh, a yeah. similar set. Paradox. But... Or, Panharmonicon would not be uh <laughs> be awesome if you had it out. Hit, hit two land, two land, two land, go and get six land into play. Game over. Six eight reach. Go. All right, fine. C This maybe. is uh it's ridiculous. I think it's closer. I think it's a, I think it's a C B. Okay. How about that? All right. I can take that. I, I like this it. a lot more than like Sundering Titan or something. Yep. Uh Time Vault, this is uh is a C. <laughs> like that's a C. Yeah. Yeah. Just being able to tap and take extra turns, blah, blah, blah. Like there's too many. All you got to do is untap it. Untap synergies. There's too many. There's it's plenty of them. Yeah. Plenty uh, of them. I think time walk. Same thing. I'm going to see a time walk. Two, well. two mana sorcery is a sorcery, but take an extra turn after this one. You can't um, have extra turns at two. Like if it exiled, maybe. You have the miracle one. That's two mana. If it's miracle, <laughs> uh, I think this one's Fair. a C. I think this one's a That's C. True, especially there's a three mana one. Especially since it's reserveless, so I don't even try to talk this one in. This one is. Can we put this at a B? This is Wizards a C. has it as as a C. No, yeah, I with, think this is a B. No, how about that? <laughs> it's a C. All right, Tinker. Uh, as an addition to play, play this card, uh, sacrifice an artifact, search your library for an artifact, put it into play, shuffle your library. Afterwards, A, B, or C, Lau. Um, this is tough. I 
I think it's a C. Oh, really? I think it's C, B. I have it as a B. I think there's similar things, not as good for, th this is only three. Um, yeah. But I think we have some other things that do, uh, what is? Like, is this comparable to natural order where you sacrifice a green creature and go and get a green creature from your deck and put it into play? I mean, that's specific. I bet artifacts, you have a little bit more yeah, choices, that costs a little bit more. What's um, the uh, artifacts are easier to sacrifice with the tokens. There's another one that does a similar thing to this, but it's five. So that's the difference. Is this is a three? Drop. Right, right, right. I think I think the mana cost is probably what's off on this because there there are cards like uh, transmute artifacts, which is another reserve list one. You have um, it's that one that looks like a like a bug. Yeah, yeah, it's from Mirrodin set, yeah. and you're it's they reprinted two it and X. Yeah, oh well, yeah, and you sacrifice you... a creature and pay the difference. Right, right, right. Yep, yep. So, I, I I have this as a B. I think it could get unbanned for those higher level stuff, but yeah, I don't if think... they add a tier five, then I, I'll put it at A. But <laughs> as far as we know, there's only four, and I don't think this is. I think it's too good for four. All right, uh, we're getting down to the end here. All right, we got Galarian uh, Academy. This is a legendary land that when you tap it, you can get a blue for each artifact that you control. What do you think? A. Shut up. <laughs> we have the other ones that are on. You lion sack. We have Ain't the other no ones. way. <laughs> we have we have Gaia's <laughs> Cradle. We have uh, the Sanctum. That's Sarah's it. Sarah's Sanctum. That is uh, also. That's right. But you got to can... work for enchantments. <laughs> Same with artifacts. You don't even have, what are you this, talking about? This has been banned before treasures or clues or food. No. <laughs> what? What? Absolutely a you gotta C. You got to keep the cycle in there. Absolutely a C. I think they go the other way. I think Cradle is has a bit of a target on its head. All right. <laughs> I have it as See, a you're, I, have I don't it as, know what you're doing. <laughs> I, I don't know a, what you're doing. All right. <laughs> Trade secrets. Uh, three drop. Target opponent draws two cards. Then you draw up to four cards. The opponent may repeat the process. I remember when we played with this. <laughs> Ooh, this was just stupid. Um, where where do you have this one at? Lyle? This is a C. I have it as an A. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't have his. Um, it's a great political card, and that's yeah. why it's in the first commander set. But basically, it was just like you want to draw your deck out. You, you want to draw your deck out? Yeah, I was draw all I'll, the cards. I'll draw half mine. You draw your your deck out, basically. Who who was you. it? Was I doing it with you? I think I cast yeah. it. I think was so. it with you or Jake? Oh, probably Jake. But whoever. But the other person was just like, what the. Fuck. Yeah, I, kinda <laughs> like remember, I, had to read, I kinda remember being on the butt end of that. Yeah. Were you? Okay. Yeah. Because basically it was just like, who do I think is gonna take this? And like I want to draw as many cards as possible. And we did. And then, then I think within six months it was banned. Yeah. It was like, oh yeah, totally get that. <laughs> totally makes sense. Um that's uh, a C. Uh all right. Uh upheaval. Upheaval. Oh, sorry. You... Four mana two blue sorcery. Return all permanents to their owners' hands. I have this as an A. I mean it is a reset, but I mean I know it's it's a re-reset, but at least you're getting all the permanents to your hand. It's uh all the permanents? I know. That's that's my problem. The lands is, is all the lands. Right. That's a problem. But Sway of the Stars. We're, we're returning. Oh, no, you're shuffling. You're drawing. So this is returning it. And it is only six. It isn't that much. Okay, I'm dropping it's, down to it, a B. I'm, I'll accept no your B, but I'll, I'll say C. <laughs> right. I think this is fairly banned. Uh, all right, last card <laughs> in the ban list, and then we will move on to Stump the Smith Savant, uh, even though we're running long, but we'll, we'll get this done because mm. we're going to be gone for two weeks. Uh, Yagmas Bargain. Oh. Is that Bargain? No, it's not. Bargain. Oh, it is Bargain. Okay. It just looked blurry to me. Uh, Enchantment. Skip your draw step. Pay one life. Draw a card. Six drop. Six drop right there. What do you got, Larry? A, B, or C? Um, this, this is a C. Is it a C? Yeah. I mean, you have your life. You can't draw anymore. 
Limited life. No, you, you you can draw. You're that's what all this is doing. <laughs> it's just you don't have a draw what? step. <laughs> what are you talking about? But is, Necropotence does that same thing. So here here's the reason why this is banned and Necropotence isn't, at least in my opinion, why it's a C. Um, and from again remembering what the arguments were, but basically Necropotence you have to pay a certain amount. You can pay as much life or as little life as you want, but you don't get to see those cards until the end of your turn. Oh, yeah. Whereas this yeah. is, you gotta, you can just go pay life. Uh, he's, and and also Necropotence is not drawing cards. So there's not as many synergies in that regard either. So this is drawing a card. You just pay life, look at it and be like, no, I'll do it again. So number one, it slows down games. Number two, you can incrementally do it. You can do it at any time when somebody's gonna be like, Hey, I'm gonna wrath, and you're just like, hold on, let me well, see if I have an answer. I'll let you know when I get a counter spell, and just well, pay as much as you want. You're look limited at it. on your life, though, too. Right, right, right. But you could just be like, if it's gonna be a like a cyclonic rift, and they're gonna win the game, you just go, well, I'll pay one, and I'll do that twenty times until, I, or I get a counter spell. Like, I think, I think it. I think it's a bit too much. Torres again, Necropotent's super, super good, but you only get those cards at the end of your turn. Like, um, I think it I think they're very, very different in that regard. Yeah. And I think that's also the problem with Grizzlebrand is you just get to see those cards right away. Right. And then you could be like, that seven's good. You don't have you're not going like seven, 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 seven. But you could still do that too. But um so I think Yagmas Bargain is that's a C. I'll take your C. I, I had a, okay. I had an A. a. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> All right. Uh, if you guys uh, think there's certain cards. Oh, really quick. I did want to say, if you had to pick out like three cards from this, what were ones that you actually think that are going to get on band? Do you, uh, and I'm putting you on the spot. Like one of the first things. Yeah, you. And other people. that well, Whatever we say here, I want to hear what you guys have to say too. Uh, but for you, Lowry... What do you think? Um, right, right off the top of my head, probably go Sway the Stars, Biorhythm, and Coalition Victory. I think those are, they the are three big, that fat I sorceries yep. that are very acceptable. I think I'm in the same boat, except I would probably switch out Coalition and put in Jeweled Lotus. This is my only other thing. Like I think Jeweled I that. is also unbanned there. So, so if you guys are looking for uh, spec wise, I think those are good targets to maybe pick up if they haven't already kind of gone up. But they're let me give you guys this for where Sway the Stars is, Biorhythm, where Coalition Victory, where those three are at right now. When they unbanned Worldfire, that jumped up to a $20 card. And you can pick up all those guys for a couple dollars at this point. So if you're wanting to pick them up to not get them when they're really expensive, just buy them for $2 and then you're good. Yeah. And you don't have to pay the, uh, the huge markup afterwards. So... Hey, Meat Force, could you kindly tap the like and subscribe button? And if you're ever in the mood, head on over to commandersmiths.com and you can get the shirts and mugs you see on the screen and some other stuff. Thank you.